What's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back and I do appreciate the support. I'd like to thank everybody that came out to the live stream last night, Storytime live stream. It was a huge success. We had some, uh, we talked about some good times back in the day. A couple of stories I told you guys. Had some good laughs, man. And it was a break for a lot of this depressing stuff that I report on, which we are back on today. Now, the story I want to talk to you all about now is making national news as of yesterday, but it came out. This story happened on Tuesday at around 11.20 p.m. in Manhattan in New York City. I mean, New York City. Shout out NYC. That's what I meant to say. But anyway, it's about this woman up here that you see attacking this Uber driver who looks like he's of some type of Middle Eastern descent. This woman's name is Jennifer Gilbolt. And, uh... She pepper sprayed this man 30 seconds into the ride. And uh, a lot of people are saying this is a racist attack and stuff like that. And uh, I want to play this because I want you guys to leave a comment and tell me if you think this was a racist attack or not. Just because they're of the same, they're of different ethnicities. I don't know if it was racist or not. And I'm going to be honest with you and I'm going to tell you exactly why after we come back. But first, let's take a look at the video and then you guys, you know, check it out and then hear what I got to say. Let's go. But first, a Pix11 exclusive, an Uber ride in Manhattan taking a terrifying turn for the driver. A passenger right there is suddenly pepper spraying him. The attack caught on camera. Yeah, this video is difficult to watch. Tonight, the victim is speaking out only to Pix11, and he believes that this was racially motivated. But the woman is denying it. So what are police saying? Our Anthony DiLorenzo has the exclusive story. We obtained and reviewed three minutes of dash camera video from a 10 minute Uber ride that the driver says was otherwise unremarkable until it wasn't. It's Wednesday night nearing 1130 on the Upper East Side. Uber driver Shohel Mahmood is on the phone. All his passengers, Jennifer Gilbo and a friend are quietly sitting in the back. Then suddenly, 90 seconds into this dash camera video, what? 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 Police say unprovoked, the 23-year-old attacks Mahmoud and pepper sprays him in the face. Jen! 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 What Jen. the f Only mumbling. What did you do? do? What are you doing now? What are you doing now? What are you doing now? In my whole face, it's like burning me the last two hours. I thought they're going to be trying to hijack my car. We spoke exclusively with that driver back to work Friday night. Her and like the people like her. This is not the right way to treat people. NYPD officers arrested Gilbo on the scene and charged her with assault. Why do you do that? While neither the department or the DA are currently charging this as a bias attack, the Bangladeshi father of three believes it is because of his skin color. What I figured out I finally see the video uh, is for my for, for my body color. In a statement, the taxi workers union told us, quote, this is such a gross, racist, violent attack. The DA needs to prosecute using both anti-hate crime and taxi driver protection laws. Uber, meantime, told Pix11 News the young woman has been banned from the app, saying the rider's actions shown in the video are deplorable. Violence is not tolerated. When we reached out to Gilbo for comment, her family denied it being a hate crime, but had no other explanation. The district attorney's office says that young woman is due in court for an arraignment on that misdemeanor assault charge later this month. I'm Anthony DiLorenzo, PIX11 News. Guys, you've seen that crazy footage, and I gotta be honest with you. You see the media saying, hey, this, they think this was a racist attack because the guy was brown. I'm not going to go that far. It may have been. Don't know. You never know. But I'm going to be honest with you. From me watching it, I watched it several times. It seems like it was personal. I think she thought she knew him or had an encounter with him before. Because if you notice, when they first got in the car before he left and he was typing in the information or whatever, did you see how she was staring at him? She was like, I guess trying to figure out, like, is that him? That is him. So it seemed like she was trying to come from that type of angle. 30 seconds into the drive, she attacks the dude. After the dude screams and jumps out the car, you hear her screaming, what? 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 Like, 
You know what this is about. That's how I took it. I think she's crazy. Something wrong with her. Just her friend saying, hey, what the hell is wrong with you? Let me know. Like, OK. She never seen this guy before or she don't even know what it's about. Like, what are you doing? What the hell? You know what I'm saying? Caught her totally by surprise, too. Either she crazy. I think either she something wrong with her. She was drunk, crazy, or she thinks she knew this guy from somewhere else and it was personal with her wanting to get get back on him. That's just my opinion. But I will tell you this, and I'm going to be dead honest with you. And it's just me. I have nothing against women or anything like that. But I'm out here doing a service. I'm a service provider. You attack me and my shit and I'm picking you up to do a service for you. And I don't know you and you just attack me. I don't care if you crazy, racist, stupid or what. I'm going to try to fix it and end it as quickly as possible. I'd have jumped out that car just like he did. But while he was doing it, after she sprayed that stuff in my face, I would have grabbed her by her hair and flung her like dirty laundry all over that block. She would have got Molly Wap action for real. Don't matter if she a chick or not because she the one that initiated the threat. Another thing is this. Her friend, you know what I'm saying? When she did that and her friend tried to sit her down, she was so turned up, she was ignoring what the friend was doing. Then she started climbing on this man's seat, trying to hold the back of his neck so she could spray his face. This guy right here seemed like he was scary. No, no. He just standing there like not even trying to block her or nothing like that. I'd have disarmed her. I'd have grabbed her, took that thing out of her hand, and then it would have just been on like hot butter popcorn for real. Because it don't make no sense. You get in somebody else's car regardless if you have a beef with him or not. And do that while he driving. What if he panicked in the whole frenzy of that whole thing, hit the gas, Try to put the car in, in drive, hit the gas, and then took off and then hit a whole bunch of people. Got other people hurt, including your friend. You put everybody's life in danger because it seemed like you just had a personal agenda. I mean, vendetta with this man. And that's the thing that's crazy. You sitting in the back of the seat. He just decided, oh, let me jump up and fuck this dude up. You see this a lot. This ain't the first Uber driver or ride share driver that was attacked or robbed or carjacked or anything. These guys put their life on the line when they out there, guys and girls. You put a stranger in your car because you're trying to make a living. You know what I'm saying? They get a, a little bit of respect for me. Me, when I first heard about Uber and all this other stuff, I say, ain't no damn way I'm going to let a stranger get behind me in a car. Many people used to get killed in taxi cabs in the 80s and 90s. Y'all remember that? Because I'm from up the East Coast. I know. Ain't no way I'm putting some stranger behind me. And I got to drive, watch the road. And then they, they can see the back of my head. No, no. But either way, man, I don't know what this was about. I think it was something personal. She probably thought he was somebody else or something. But either way, she shouldn't have put her hands on that man in his vehicle or any other time. Because trust me, she was lucky. He was very nice. Most dudes up there ain't like that. If that was a brother. She probably did be a different story. He probably be locked up. Stock market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. But yeah, leave me a comment, man. Tell me what y'all think. Y'all think it was racist? Cause like they pushing that real big. That's a big trigger word, racism. I don't know. I don't know. But I mean, give me your uh, opinion in the comment section. I'd like to hear back from you. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.